More than 160,000 miles of high-voltage transmission lines crisscross the country to transmit energy from power generation plants to utility customers at the end of the distribution network. Until today, conducting inspections has required that crew walk the right-of-way, climb structures, or use helicopters to conduct time-consuming and costly visual inspections of power lines. Now, after years of research and testing, EPRI has developed an autonomous transmission line inspection robot, also known as TAI. Permanently installed on the transmission line system, TAI can traverse an average of three miles a day while gathering critical infrastructure data for maintenance personnel to act upon. This video highlights some recent achievements and describes an upcoming deployment on an American electric power transmission line. Riding on the shield wire above the energized conductors, TAI now has fully developed remote command and controls for the onboard sensor and motion systems. The sensor systems are also now fully integrated to enable fusion of the data from visual cameras, LIDAR, RFI detector, infrared camera, motion, and weather sensor systems. TAI has been doing laps around the EPRI Linux mass test loop in preparation for field testing on an AEP 138 kV transmission line in 2014. The AEP and EPRI team is presently working on integrating the inspection data collected from TAI into AEP's TGIS system. The TGIS is a cutting-edge geographical information system that stores and displays AEP's transmission asset information, including images and video so that engineering asset managers, field personnel, foresters, and other stakeholders across the utility can get access to the collected data. A line of diverters that enable TAI to traverse structures and obstacles have been developed and installed at each structure on the EPRI test loop by Preformed Line Products, or PLP. A two-mile section of the 138 kV AEP transmission line has also been made robot-ready with commercially available versions of these diverter systems and is waiting for the first live tests in 2014. Another 20 miles will be made robot-ready in May 2014. TAI utilizes the loop created by the isolated shield wire in a custom-designed power harvesting system to charge its batteries. At night, TAI will ground itself at a transmission line structure, creating a harvesting circuit with the isolated shield wire, which is terminated in capacitors. The two miles of AEP robot-ready transmission line has striker plates installed at each structure, so TAI can ground itself to complete the power harvesting circuit. EPRI researchers installed remote monitoring equipment on the two-mile test section of AEP line and have been continuously measuring the amount of energy that has been harvested over the past 10 months, so that TAI will know what to expect when installed later this year. While TAI is being tested in 2014, AEP will be making a full 53 miles of 138 kV transmission line robot-ready for the final deployment in 2015 when TAI's successor will be permanently installed, collecting, storing, and transmitting inspection data to utility maintenance personnel.